Welcome to a present that I got from Lock Picking Pete. Today a package from him arrived and inside was this little Ruku lock. Yeah, Pete, thank you very much for this great little lock. I really like old Ruku locks because the way they write Ruku is just very, very nice. You can see it here on the bow of the key, even better, made in Denmark, Ruku. Then they have a yellow brass plug which is different in color to the rest of the lock. This looks really, really nice, I think. They have a very thick key. And yeah, this lock works beautifully. And they pick really nice. So let's give it a try. I picked it a couple of times before off camera. Let's see if I can repeat my luck. And I'm curious to see what's inside. Maybe we find these old Roku drivers. So it's clamped up. Let's see if it still works. It does. For picking I use a homebrew tensioner and turn it to the left counterclockwise and for picking the pins I use this Peterson 18000 jam. Okay, let's see. Okay, light tension and No feedback yet, just touching all the pins a little bit. I've learned that light tension is the key to success with this lock, otherwise the pins bind up and won't give you any feedback. <laughs> so I think the plug just turned a little bit into the right direction. Let's continue. One, two, three, four, and five. Oops, maybe that was an overset. No, it was not. Uh, I think it was two and then five again, and the core turned back and forth. And I think we have reached a better state than before. So let's see, one, two, three, four, four is giving a bit of counter rotation. I hope that I'm not in the process of oversetting here. Okay, touched five and the core turned back. It's pretty good. So how about one? Ah, one needed to be picked, but lost the full set. Got it back when working on five. Touched two and three and the core turned a little bit more. So, there's something missing here. Lightening up the tension. Very, very light currently now on the tension. So, there is feedback from two. Yeah, definitely. Okay, got it. And touched five and the lock opened. Yeah, that was very, very nice. Thank you, Pete, for this very enjoyable pick. Oops. So, <laughs> let's open it up and look inside. Um, I have a key so I can... Oh, it's already locked up. I have this wonderful clip spreader from uh, that I got from... Talon pick that I can now use and easily bend the clip to open. So, oh, I need a pinning tray, just a second. tape piece comes off and then there is a nasty gap maybe I should try to bridge it with a shim
Oh. I take the risk that it works without a shim. So keep fingers crossed. Yeah, no problem. So here is the plug with all the key pins in working order. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice key pins, very smooth, very long actually. <laughs> and here is the plug. Is there a counter milling? Yes, there is. Take a pick. There is deep counter milling. That's why you can only pick this lock with very light tension, otherwise the pin binds uh, in this or gets caught in this counter milling and you won't get any kind of feedback. Very cool plug with counter milling here. Alright, so let's check the drivers. These look interesting. Ah, these are the new ASA drivers. And dump out all the springs. So here is the pinning of the slug. You can see the key pins are standard but made uh, very nicely made, so very cool pins. Oh, some of them are upside down. Most of them are upside down actually. <laughs> no, all of them are upside down. That's the right direction right orientation. Then we have these new ASA drivers which have very sharp ends to catch in the counter milling and a little spoolish part so to speak. So very nice pick and uh, yeah fun feedback. I just can recommend you to uh, also get your one of these uh, Ruko locks. Uh, seeing these new style drivers, maybe this lock isn't that old as, as I believed, but anyhow it was a fun pick and uh, thank you very much again Lock Picking Pete for sending this lock to me and everybody else. Thank you very much for watching, happy picking and bye bye. I just realized how Ruku has achieved this deep counter milling on the plug. Yeah, here are two dents and they give a hint that this is not a normal plug. And indeed, that what we can see here is not the surface of the plug, but a sleeve. Turning this plug around, we can see on the back how the two end parts of the sleeve meet and the two dents, left and right, are fixation points so that the sleeve doesn't turn or move. Looks like they have filed or ground down the shear line of the plug and then put over this sleeve which results in a very deep counter milling. Pretty cool construction and makes this lock even more interesting and uh, attractive for me. <laughs> Alright, that's now really it. Thanks for watching. Pete, thanks for sending me this lock. And cheers and bye bye.